Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about probability of independent events. So when we say independent events, these are two events whose incidence of one event does not affect the probability of the other event. In this case, possible na magkaiba talaga yung event. Because for example, tossing a coin or spinning the wheel. So yung outcome nung first ay hindi apektado yung outcome nung second. Dahil magkaiba naman talaga sila. Or possible na pareho yung events. Just for example, in example number one, two dice are rolled sequentially. So, pareho yung event dito. Naghagis ka ng dalawang dice. Yun nga lang, syempre, the outcome of the first die is not affected by the outcome of the second die. Kasi magkaiba naman yung die na ginamit. Okay? At hindi na babago yung outcomes nun. Ang faces ng die ay same din naman sa faces ng pangalawang hinagis mo. That's why the outcome of the first event is not affected by the second event. Okay. So, in this example, what is the probability that the first die shows 6 and the other die shows an odd number? Okay, let us have a probability of getting 6 on the first roll. Okay? Uh, let's have probability of getting 6 or showing 6. So, how many 6 are there in a die? So, we have 1 out of 6. And the next probability that shows an odd number so probability of an odd number okay that is equal to ilan ba yung odd natin so we have yung odd numbers natin ay 1 3 and 5 so di ba meron tayong 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 faces so yung odd numbers natin meron tayong 3 out of 6 or pwede namang 1 half but the question is what is the probability that the first die shows 6 and okay my word na end so when we say end ang operation natin dito is multiplication so we have to multiply Okay, so now let us have probability of 6, showing 6, and showing an odd number, odd number. So we have multiplication. Ang symbol na ginagamit for the word end is the intersection of two events. So 6, intersection of odd number. That is equal to... So again, showing 6, we have 1 over 6 here times okay, uh, probability of an odd number. So we have 1 half. 1 over 6 times 1 half, that is equal to 1 over 12. So the final answer is 1 over 12 in getting the probability of 6 and odd number. Then example number 2, we have a bottle contains 20 blue bags and 15 red bags. If two bags are picked at random, one after the other, with replacement. So ito pa yung isang clue. With replacement. What is the probability that the first bag is blue and then red? So ito is independent events kasi once you get a bag you replace it and then get another bag so that is independent events hindi mababago yung outcomes nung first at saka nung second so same pa rin ang bilang nung ating possible outcomes okay now let us have the probability of blue bag so blue muna ang kukunin natin so probability of getting blue how many blue bags are there in a bottle 
So we have, we have 20. And over, ilan ba lahat ng bags? So we have 35. Okay? 35. Or, pwede na natin itong i-simplify. Pwede natin i-divide sa 5. 20 divided by 5, that is equal to 4. And then, 35 divided by 5, that is equal to 7. Okay? Para simplest form na yung gagamitin natin. And the next, probability of getting red bag. Okay? So, red naman tayo. Equals. So, ilan ba yung red bag dito? We have 15. Okay? In this case, 15 pa rin naman yung makukuha mong red bags. And then, over, mababawasan ba yung bilang natin? Hindi. Kasi we replace. So, same pa rin. Kaya, hindi affected yung bilang nung uh, second event once kumuha ka ng bag sa first event. So, ito ay independent. Dahil hindi naman nabago yung bilang ng ating possible outcomes. 35 pa rin. Okay? So, now, pwede natin isimplify yung 15 over 35. That is equal or equal to 15 divided by 5. We have 3. 35 divided by 5. That is equal to 7. Okay? So, yung blue, 4 over 7. Yung red, 3 over 7. But the question is, probability that the first bag is blue and, okay, yun na naman yung word na and. What is the operation? Okay, multiply. So, probability of blue and red. Getting blue and red bag. So, we have times or multiplication. Kasi ito ay intersection. So, that is equal to 4 over 7. So, ito, probability ng blue, times probability of red, that is 3 over 7. Okay? So, multiply ang numerator, 4 times 3, that is equal to 12. Multiply the denominator, 7 times 7, that is equal to 40. Nine. So, wala naman na tayong pwedeng simplify. We cannot divide any number anymore. So, we have 12 over 49 as our final answer of getting probability of blue and red. So, item number 3. If you flip a coin and roll a die, what is the probability that you will flip ahead and roll a 5? So, take note. Two events talaga to. Flipping and rolling. So, magkaiba talaga sila ng outcome. That's why it is independent. So, a while ago, ang pinag-usapan natin na sample ay same event pero may replacement. So, hindi pa rin affected yung first at saka yung second probability. So, now let us have the probability of getting ahead. So, when we flip a coin, ilan ba ang pwedeng makuhang head doon? Of course, isa lang naman, out of 2. So, dalawa lang naman yung faces ng coin. Heads and tails. Okay? So, next, probability of getting 5 or rolling 5 in a die. So, we have, ang outcomes natin ay anim since we have 6 faces. And, ilan yung 5 doon? We have 1. Okay? Now, what is the probability of getting a heads and so again the operation is multiply or multiplication probability of getting or flipping a head and 5 okay so we have multiplication that is equal to 1 half times 1 over 6. Okay? Since we are looking for the intersection. So, that is equal to 1 times 1, we have 1. 2 times 6, that is equal to 12. So, simplest form na yung 1, 
Therefore, our final answer is 1 over 12 in getting a head and the 5. So that's all. I hope you learned from this video. And if you learn, please subscribe the channel.